Hello everyone and welcome back to the Zoo Stars Unemulated Retro Game Channel, that's me, and welcome to another edition of Shit Game Time, so that means it's Friday again doesn't it, yay, what could be better than starting a weekend off than a shit game time. So this is Knight Rider on the Amstrad CPT, CPC, sorry, requested by Stefano Paracci, hello mate, I hope you're doing okay. Now I've had a little look back in my category, in my library of shit game times, and I did do a Commodore 64 SGT of this game. And if I remember right, I nearly fell into a coma because it was utterly boring and didn't have a fucking clue what to do. And that's pretty much the same as far as this version goes. So no music, no flashy title screen, nothing like that. Of course it isn't. Um, Sad really, because it's Ocean, a software house I had a lot of respect for, but um, true, they also coughed up their fair share of cack, but uh, not quite on the scale of US gold, I have to say. Anyway, I digress. So, you've got to either rescue the President, no, Ambassador, Ambassador um, or get to the missile base and do some of there, and random plot probably picks one of the first three. So, let's go for, well, let's go for the President, press number one. And you've got to choose Michael Move Cursor to plot our next course, then press the fire button. Well, I don't know, we'll just start off Chicago. Why? Because I've been there myself. Uh, the Windy City. Okay. And as before, just like the Commodore 64 version, you do pretty much fuck all. And uh, the computer seems to shoot these things for you it appears and I just make sure the car stays on the bloody road and you see the countdown timer 147 146 144 or on the left hand side there you've got to get that down to zero so you'll get to your next um, des designation I think on the Commodore 64 version I'm not sure about this but on that version you could do one or two things you'd either steer the car and the computer takes out the uh, the enemy, like he's trying to do with that cursor. Or the computer will steer the car and you take out the enemy. But on this version, I don't think you can. All I know is one fucking snore fest. And I remember playing the Commodore 64 version where I asked the computer to control the car and half the time it didn't know what to do. It was going so slow as well. I thought the only way we're going to get through these levels is if I do take control of the car and let it um, take out all of the um, these helicopters and that, which uh, it doesn't seem to be doing a very good fucking job of, does it? Yes. Um, sensor speed? The blue line, horizontal line, is flashing like crazy, so I guess there is a kind of sense there. The game makes no sense, but there is a little bit of a sense of speed there. There's no side scenery to give you an idea of how quick you're going. So it's a good job that blue line is zipping past, otherwise it would look like you're being still. But it's such a fucking snore fest. You don't do anything, you just steer left and right. Just steer left and right. and try and get to, um, you press it up, of course, to get your speed, you can even go down speed, but we want to go quick, don't we? There's just nothing, it's just so boring. Whoopie fucking do, this is so much fun, so much fun. God, Michael, move your cursor to the next plot. Our next, what for? We're in Chicago. Uh, armory. Fuck it. Let's go to the armory. So here I am, and if I remember right, you've got to 
try and get past these things without them seeing you. Like now. Ooh, oh, it got me because it's too fucking slow, of course. Of course he is. Right, there we go. Well, this bit should be easy because he's uh, got a long way to walk, hasn't he? Got to get to the other side of the building. Oh, no, 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 no. I've messed that up. Twat. Michael, you must get to the other side of the room. Whereabouts? On the other side. Yes, we know that. But be careful because these wankers will shoot you like they are now. And this is slowly getting very frustrating. If I remember, all the Commodore 64 memories are coming back to me. You're telling me you can't see you doing that? Oh, that's fucking ridiculous. The window is so small. Oh, so small. That's what I mean. I don't know if... Yeah, they can walk through that. Okay. This is really difficult. I don't see how I can do it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. You're asking me to get pixel perfect close to them. Oh. You've got to get absolutely pixel... Mm. Yeah, you missed me, didn't you, fuckhead? Michael. Come on, you stupid, bloody... ...crouty twat. Just get on with it. Uh, you know, I mean, I've... I've uh, it can get to the point where you just kind of I don't remember the Commodore 60 war version being this fussy that legit unbelievable I have to get right up to this guy before I can pass him move oh, he's caught on that bloody No way you near me now. No way. But you are. Of course you are. Of course you are. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, you know, how, how many times do you get this before you just throw the game away? You know what? Screw you. Final score, that's game over. I'm sorry, Michael. You have failed in your mission. Well, you've not failed in yours to me, have you? You've done your fucking sent me asleep. Report back to Atlanta at once. You think I'm going to drive all the way there? Press any key. Yeah. Whatever. Let's try and uh, missile base. Michael, well, move your cursor to plot our next course, then press the fire button. Good morning, Michael. Even that's slow, isn't it? Look at it. Devon has just informed me what? Of terrorists, terrorist active. Activity in Dallas. Oh, let's go to Dallas then. Right, here we go. And we got to do all this again. Shoot him then. You don't want to shoot him. So I'm trying to. 
I've got a massive flipping corner there I've had to tackle. Shoot them then. Fucking idiot car. Come on, give me straight road. <laughs> this is fucking boring. This really is terrible. This is so boring. It brings all the memories of the Commodore 64 version on my shit game time back. It really does. Um, nobody asked me to do the Spectrum version of this. It's bound to be the same. I'm not going through this a third time because I shall refund you your money. <laughs> not happening. how long it takes 144 143 142 it's like oh i'll be back in a minute you can't it's not as if you can lose i don't think this game i'm just pressing up i'm doing nothing else i'm just pressing up i've got my head in my hand lent on my uh, arm of my settee as you can imagine almost drowsing off it's like wake me when it gets to down to about 10 we're on 126 right now so call, you know, just give me a nudge and I'll just, um, I'll take a little nap here. So I just. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Um, where are we? Oh, 106. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh there oh sorry about that where, where are we 93 oh, I've got run. oh jesus wet this is terrible stefano what are you doing to me i should charge you a tenner for this None of you dare request the Spectrum version of this. I've, I've done the Commodore 64 version. I've, this is the Amstrad. It's going to be exactly the same. I would immediately say to you, right, take your money back or pick again, because I'm not going to do it. I didn't realise, well, I forgot just how long it takes before you get anywhere in this game. I mean, I'm doing nothing. This, I'm, just, I'm doing absolutely nothing apart from keeping the button, the up button pressed. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything else. Oh, there's a little bit of right and left. Look, that's it. It's just... And we've got another 60 units before we get to the next place. Um, This has got to be one of the worst cash cows I've ever fucking come across. I mean, the show was all right, it was all right as a kid, I suppose. It was a very kid show. Any, any, if you were older, any older than 16, it was cack. Um, typical American imported shite back in the day programming. Now, plenty of them. Street Orc, Knight Rider, Airwolf, you know, all pretty much the fucking same, weren't they? Oh, yeah, the A-Team, that was pretty cool at the time. Where they can suddenly build a huge tank out of 16 bottles of fairy liquid and a pipe. It's amazing what you can do. Um, and who can forget Mr. T steering his vehicle with serious amount of play in the steering wheel when they're going straight. <laughs> Brilliant. But this is just rubbish. It's just 19 units, 18, 17. Stefano, I'm surprised not losing all my audience. They're probably just skipping through the time bar to see if anything else exciting happens here. They're probably waiting to see what's happened, going to happen to Zeus. Is he going to blow a fuse? Is he, is he going to have a meltdown? Is he going to fall asleep again? Might even go to a coma. It's so exciting. It's just right there. Three, come on, two, one. Is that it now? Right, thank you. I don't know. I didn't do anything. Boring. Crap. Move cursor to plot our next course. Then press the button. So at the moment I'm in Dallas, so we go to Denver or Atlanta. Um, Denver or Atlanta. Denver. Let's press Denver. Oh, I'm not doing that again. Fuck this. 
No fucking way. I'm sorry. I'm not playing all that again. Bollocks. I, w I wouldn't even. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to my insanity. I wouldn't do that to my viewers. Fuck that. I'm not playing that again. Look, it can do it itself. It's not. I'm not even doing anything. It's fucking stupid. And I'm still doing 86 mile an hour. Whatever. 87 mile an hour. Cack. Fucking shit. Um, just the same as the Commodore version. Can't remember what I gave that. It did have some music in the Commodore version. I do remember that. But this has got absolutely fuck all. And it's probably sported a, what, a £7.95 price tag back in 1986. Absolutely fucking cack. Annoying. Boring. Uh, I don't know. I'd rather go out in the garden and, I don't know, see how fast my uh, back gate moves on its own. Or, in fact, actually, what I'd probably do is go and sit on the back wall in the rain and count the cat's eyes while drivers are going over them. Um, I Just pointless shit. Just a complete cash cow. So that was a serious black mark for your ocean. Um, it's only because you did a lot of good games too. You know, I'm going to forgive you in general, but this is fucking abysmal. And shame on you for even trying it and, and conning the kids. Imagine getting this for your birthday or Christmas. And you was only about 12 years old back in the day. You're looking too forward to your new game. And you get this fucking cack. And you haven't got the heart to tell your mum or dad. Mum, dad, because you can't swear if you've been brought up right. Dad, um, uh, uh, you're going to say, I don't, don't like this game, actually. Oh, that's a bit late. I bought it three weeks ago. Got the receipt, but can't take it back now. Um, or maybe you could back then. I don't know. But you wouldn't have the heart to tell your parents it's a crap game. Um, but then again, the parents should have been a bit more wiser, shouldn't they? TV games, film games, 99.9% .9 of the time, they're fucking shit. Should have stayed away. It's crap. It's absolutely fucking crap. What am I going to give this on the shitometer? Um, con price, nothing to do, boring as fuck. And then you find you've got to do another bloody uh, road journey. That takes 16 years. Um, shit. So I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give that 90 fucking seven shits. Right there, Knight Rider on the Amstrad CPC. 97 runny fucking smelly shits. Also on a level, almost on level of dysentery. Fucking crap. Good douse of Montezuma's Revenge there. Rubbish. I think uh, my Brazilian viewers would, uh, Mexican viewers would uh, appreciate that comment. Rubbish. Get out of my eyes. Get out of my sight. Rubbish. Absolutely cack. Um, in fact, what I will do is... No, you know, I was going to reset the machine, but no, I'm just going to um, keep this running and basically put the middle finger up to the programmers. Fuck you. Right, that's it for me, this edition of Shit Game Time. And uh, that was a tough one because uh, I remember going through all this bore fest on the Commodore 64 version. So thank you very much, Stefano, for that. Uh, good job you paid me for that one, wasn't it? But anyone else, please do not recommend the Spectrum version as well because I will not do it. Unless you pay me 20 quid. Not doing it. And while we're on the subject of money, if you do wish to have a game put into the vault of shitness, a game that you hate and you think the reviewers of magazines completely favoured it and it's wrong, software houses should have been ripped apart by the courts for it. If there's a game that you think was disgrace, then that's my job. Feel free to uh, click on the video that's about to pop up to request your game and in return obviously if you're five pound you will get the review you will get a shout out as well on the video and of course you'll enjoy my pain won't you i'm sure you're all enjoying that okay that's it for me until next edition of shit game time take care of yourselves i'm just going to go off now and have a tramadol and a shot of cherry cordial to try and chill me out after this fucking dysentery shit fest adios everybody zeus out of Plopsville.